Hello, this is a demo of a top-down discrete uh, game I've made. Uh, so here we are the, the blue rabbit. The goal is to eat apples. When you eat an apple, your score increases by 1. If you eat a golden apple, your score increases by 5. And if you eat a brown apple, it's a rotten apple, your score would re decrease by 1. Uh, at any point, we can pause the game with P and see the scores of uh, the top five players. We are the n number one ranked player with seven points and the second one had three points. Here we can see the, the brain of the player. So follow type actor is a rabbit that goes straight to the first uh, apple that it sees. However, it's not a very smart one because if it sees a wall, it just hots like this one. It's stuck there. It's trying to go down by just hitting the wall all the time. So that could be made smarter later on. Uh, and there's also another type of rabbit which does random movements. So these are the two kinds we have now. Uh, yes, actually we have just cheated just now because rabbits can only see a limited field of vision around them. So here we can also see what rabbits are actually supposed to see. Now, so here we're at the center, and now we eat the apples as before. But this is what the robots actually see. We are just cheating before. Okay. Uh, Next, uh, the reason I'm doing this is to have an interesting problem to develop uh, artificial intelligence. So, one of the goals is to be able to run without a human and just see th what the AI does in the simulation, so we could have competitions of uh, AI. Uh, so let's try that out. If we put, if we request zero players and go for a very large board, 200 by 200, now we can see that there are about 700 white dots, 700 rabbits, just they're really small and the FPS is, a, is about 10-12 uh, uh, to reach this FPS I had to optimize uh, the search of elements so now we are doing uh, we have a, a spatial index I'm using boost archery and this helps us answer the question ah, I need to move right, is there anything on the right? so this bisects mm, yeah, actually in four parts the world and finds things way faster all right uh, we can also go completely without the GUI uh, so to do that let's go here uh, yes so we just say D to say no display and now we should also limit the time that we want the simulation to stop let's say 20 steps so we run that for 20 steps and then we can get on the STD out uh, the results and this could be easily parsed and then if you run this enough times we'd have statistical indication of which is the best AI so here we see for that for some random actor it had three score and this was its ID also there is the type of the player so these are plant eaters just they have different brains either human random or follow type but we intend to also have different types of players for instance we could have carnivores which try to eat the 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 herbivores, but they need to be a, a separate score, we cannot compare. To finish the video, let's have a look at the programming API. Actors, which are the brains, they take as input a worldview and they output uh, their desired action. The worldview is a limited view of the world, so it contains only what the, the actor can perceive. So for our actors, they can only see objects which are like in the limited field of vision that they have. So. Uh, the world view is a, is a list of object views and the, each object view just contains an XY coordinate and the type of the object at that coordinate. Here it's, it's a signed coordinate, so we only say relative to the player, is it to the right or left? So it's to the right, it's positive, left, negative. And the type, so this object, is it, uh, does it look like a, a stone, a, a wall, uh, another rabbit or an apple? Uh, also another important thing of the world view is the score. Uh, the score is what the actor tries to maximize and it's how it measures the success of the actor and the goal is to have uh, new mechanics created from time to time in a way that uh, the AI actor, uh, authors cannot account for all the mechanics so this will force AIs that can actually learn new mechanics and adapt to it and this is how the AI will measure if it's working or not uh, and this is analogous to the notion of pleasure in the human brain Finally, the output of the actor is an action, which says what I would like to do, so I have like left, right, up or down, 
and uh, it's not certain that it will happen because if the world will decide if you want to move right and there is a wall to your right then the action will have no effect for example uh, next in the future we want to to create to run the brains into separate processes now they're just all built in together but we want separate processes this has three goals first of all uh, we'd like to, to help prevent cheating because now uh, if we run this online uh, people could still run the whole address space and read the full world information and so they would have extra information uh, the second advantage is that it would allow, allow different uh, interpreters different languages to be used so we would put the main process word process and then a bunch of uh, separate brains and serialize uh, the world action from one side and the world view from one side and the action coming out from the other and then any language can just create the serialization and work uh, and finally we would like to put things into uh, containers like docker this would allow us to control cpu and uh, disk usage uh, to to have a balance and to make the turns actually end uh, so this is it for today thank you for watching